Hey, what's going on everybody? It is January 8th. I am on the hunt for the new Beast Wars Optimus Primal figure. Uh, it'd be great if we also saw Dinobot, but I don't think he's out on retail stores yet. So, um, of course, we're looking for some uh, G.I. Joe Viper figures and some new Star Wars Black Series. So, hopefully we get some luck. Let's go check some stores out. Right, check it out we do got remnants of the stilt man is that what it's called yeah stilt man build a figure wave wow this action figure actually looks pretty good oh spider-man most likely gonna get the mayfix version i gotta say man this looks solid like miles morales looks okay the marvel legends version but I just like how the Mayfix version comes with a lot more face sculpts. But yeah, this comes with an extra one. I really like the expressions on these. Nice. There's Stilt Man's face. That looks pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's the only one here from this wave. Some storms. Anything hiding back there? Nope. Couple squirrel girls. She's going for $27.99. Hoping to find her for less. Got the masterpiece bumblebee. Not exactly sure if these are new. Shattered. Who's back there? Hot rod. Oh, they don't have Optimus Prime mall. Yeah, just Optimus Prime. Which I don't think I'm gonna get this figure. I don't know, it looks pretty good, but we'll see. But first try to collect all the Beast Wars ones first. And they don't have any DC McFarlane ones. Right, this two pack. Oh, this is new. Bat Tech Batman. I wonder what age group are buying a lot of these three and three quarter Batman figures. Looks like they did restock on the Halo figures. Of course, they're filled with Fortnite Battle Bus. Alright, so I thought I was recording, but apparently not. Anyways, I was looking at all these McFarlane figures here. Nothing new. I looked to the left, and there's Optimus Primal. Optimus Maximize! Oh man, it should be over here, but I guess somebody moved it. Man, that's awesome. All right, so I think we're finished with the Beast Wars figures for now until um, Dinobot comes out. Oh, I hope she's less than 20 bucks. That'd be awesome. We'll scan her. Get the Bumblebee. It's 80 bucks. Man, I'd get it maybe if, yeah, if it was less than 50 maybe. See what else they have. World War II Bumblebee. Lionizer. I've never seen this character before. Fire Drive. These are $5.99. Man, they don't have any other Beast Wars figures, which is kind of weird. I wonder, I wonder if they come all in a assorted box. A 
What is new? Shara, Bumblebee, more Bumblebees. That's what the Marvel Legends, all the same old. Oh, Squirrel Girls, $27.99. rather buy her for less who knows she might make it to Ross or um, Ollie's yeah same old Marvel Legends okay, new figures here no get the same old Halo a whole bunch of are these Gundams yes they are oh that one looks pretty cool Got some figure arts. Some Goku. Three of them things. Alright, let's go check the Star Wars figures. Alright, please have some new Black Series. Oh, they, oh, they got Jar Jar. Nice. And they did have Thrawn and everybody else, but... Oh man, it would be nice to find Thrawn. And Commander Cody. I don't need this Han Solo. That's a bad face scope. Oh, okay. This Jar Jar. Man, he looks really good. Really awesome face scope. Comes with that huge shield. Hmm. Man, would have been nice to get Cody. Here's a new Panther. Oh, they're restocking on these Prince Adam Sky Sleds. 30 bucks. Alright, let's see how much she is. 20 bucks, okay, that's better than $27.99. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. It's definitely worth 20 bucks in my opinion. I think it's a great looking figure. It comes with that moped, of course. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, they got the handheld X-Men game. I still have one. It looks exactly the same except the art. $14.99. I'm probably not gonna buy it. It's pretty cool that it came out with it, but it's not exactly, a f probably won't be too fun. Just the only character? Gold Armor Bumblebee? Ten bucks for this small figure, man, what the heck. I mean, the art on it is pretty cool. It's got some, like, gold, lenticular material there <clears throat> got the masterpiece bumblebee 80 bucks chase optimus prime oh please tell me they have some robin crows ah oh, it doesn't look like it holly Quinn. batman glass and a lot from the older wave no I don't know why they didn't come out with as much Robin Crows, man. Makes no sense. Or maybe they were just ordered so much on like Amazon, a whole bunch of other retail online stores. It's a Bat Raptor. All right. Thunder Owl. Yeah, we've seen all these before. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, they have a new Bat Cycle. A green arrow too. <laughs> Haven't seen them in a very long time. Oh, they have the merciless wave. They have infected Superman. Any Robin Crows? Ah, oh, nope. Oh, they got the new Nightwing and Red Hood pack. Twenty-four ninety-nine. I know there's a 
a single carded figure of Red Hood. Not sure what the difference is. Uh, this pack looks alright. I actually really like how Red Hood came out. That's really good. Man, this place is stacked. This is probably 20 bucks. Maybe 25. Man, look at the details. Man, it looks so good. I may pick it up. I got Optimus Primal. One of these small figures. For the break. Fifty percent off. That's one hundred twenty bucks. That's with the Marvel Legends. Got some Squirrel Girls. Whole bunch of these two packs. Jeez. Uh, nothing new here. Oh, here, Peter Parker. Maybe he comes two per case. Saw him at the other Target as well. I'm actually tempted to get this one. But then again, I have the Mafex version on pre order. This is a solid looking figure. It's been a while since I've been to this Target. And look, they have Miles Morales. It looks alright. Not, not bad at all. Wish it came with more facial expressions. This wave ain't that bad. I'm on the fence with it because I already have the Mayfix version of Miles Morales. I really like the Peter Parker figure. That's an excellent looking figure. Oh, snaps. I got the handheld game. It's awesome. $15. Is this the only version? Yeah, looks like it. It's tempting for nostalgic, the nostalgic factor, but yeah, I just don't need it. Goodness, a Roro is everywhere. Man, they don't have any Beast Wars figures here. It's kind of surprising. Oh, I really want that, but it's way too expensive. You know what? Let's check under the shelf. Nope, nothing there. Any new McFarlane? Oh, they got Joker. Oh, they got Flash as well. I just want that head sculpt and then buy that two pack with Flash and Red Death. Alright, please tell me they have some new Black Series. Pretty please. Oh, they got Jar Jar, of course. He's freaking everywhere. <laughs> He's been at like every target I've been to in the last couple of days. Man, I want to find General Thrawn and Commander Cody. Alright. Is this a new child figure? Bunch of Hot Wheels. Oh, they got a Ninja Turtles mashup. <laughs> $12.99. Crane. Oh, this is a pretty cool set. 20 bucks though. It's five dollars each. Alright, let's check the NECA section. 
This neck of section usually sucks balls. Oh wow. That's a lot of craze. And Baxter two packs. Jeez. I've been seeing a lot of pigs. A lot of people are finding cranes like Space Marty. Man, that's a lot. Jeez. <laughs> Got a Ronald McDonald pop now? <laughs> well, it's nice to see that this particular target has some NECA TMNT related stuff. I think it's my first time seeing it here. What's this? Hasbro playing every day. Got Mr. Potato Head, Transformers logo, and the Monopoly dude. Yeah, go go. Yeah, some Gundam figures, unicorn Gundam. Sounds like figure arts. <laughs> it is from the same company, Bandai. Uh, shout out to Ricky Dones. I do love Gundams. I think these have been here forever. Yeah, no one's buying these Wonder Woman figures. Alright. Yeah, I'm not seeing any new pops. Got Bumblebee. <laughs> this one really stands out. Oh, alright. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Not even sure why I'm at Walmart. They don't got anything new. Not that I know of. Still got these three and three quarter figures. Wicket, Anakin. Oh! Dude, dude, they have the exclusive Widow. Black Widow. With the short hair. <laughs> she sure showed up pretty late. And they have the Venomized Captain America. I have yet to see the movie Venom. I really want that figure. It looks really good, but... I don't know why it hasn't shown... Well, it probably did show up around here, but... They were probably bought up with the quickness. Oh. This one's kind of tempting. I love all the Venomized figures. Face sculpt looks really good. Really like how that tongue is sticking out. And the shield. Nice. <sighs> Do I really need it? <laughs> I'm really trying to slow down on buying legends. Oh, they got a roadblock. That's it. What's up there? Let's go check over here. Oh, they got some kingdom figures. So they're showing up at Walmart as well. Nice. Got Cheetor. A couple of Cheetors. Okay, that's a good sign. That means uh, Megatron and Optimus Primal will probably end up at Walmart as well. Does seem like they're showing up at Target first. All right, that does it. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, last time I was here, still had a whole bunch of the NECA Foot Soldier two packs, and looks like they don't have it anymore. It's a new pop. Creep. Scarecrow. Genie. Well, they got an exclusive creep. Christmas vacation pop. <laughs> I 
There's comics. Oh, they got a Harry Potter calendar. Is this the calendar? No? Oh, it's a, a pop-up book. Oh, they actually got more neck. Oh, they got neck. Oh, they got the foot soldiers here. Still got a whole bunch. Four of them. Here's Biff. Marty. Hannibal. Oh, I'm tempted to get more foot soldiers. You know what? I want to ask those collectors who collect these arcade one-ups. If you've had like one or several for over a year, do you think it's worth having? Like, I feel like if I bought one of these, it'd be nice for maybe like a couple weeks or maybe several months. And then after that, I think I'd get bored of it and be like, this thing is just hogging up too much room. I'm tired of seeing all the lights every day. <laughs> And the game, the replay value just isn't there, you know. I play like once in a while. I'll probably play a lot once I buy it. But then later on, I'm just going to stop playing and just never want to play it again. Because I just get bored of it. Plus, I'm mostly a PC gamer. And I don't know. I just It's hard for me to play other types of consoles or anything anymore. Anyways, yeah, I just want to ask y'all that. Alright, we're at a different target location, and of course they don't have any of the Archive Black Series, but they do have more Jar Jar Binks. Why can't like Commander Cody and General Thrawn be just as abundant as Jar Jar? Misa don't understand. Um, there's the Sky Sled with Prince Adam. I've been seeing that everywhere. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, let's see some new Black Series. Uh, oh man! I'm too late, of course. We got Jar Jar, of course, once again. Man, it's gonna be hard to find Thrawn and Commander Cody. <laughs> Man, they probably just stopped yesterday. Maybe this morning. Alright, what's there? Any new Black Series? Of course not, just Jar Jar. Alright, please let there be some new Black Series. That'd be wonderful. No, just got a couple Jar Jars. He's a called Jar Jar Binks! Alright. Oh, we got the new... Finally seen Prowler. And Frogman. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we're missing several. <laughs> kind of want this figure, but not really in a rush for these. That's a great looking Marvel Legends figure. No doubt. Prowler. I wonder if it's the same mold as the first prowler that came out could be oh we got pumpkin wrapper here and we got king sphinx any robin crows please ah no it's just a whole bunch of flashes and joker Come on, man. Oh, they had it here. Oh, man. We got Optimus Primal. And Rat Trap. 
couple of rat traps, the inverter brake, Optimus Prime. Oh, I believe these are new. 60 bucks, Jesus Christ almighty. I may get these later on. <laughs> Such an interesting looking figure. Let's read the bio. Eugene Patilio suits up as Frogman in a misguided attempt to restore his family's good name. Alrighty then. Got the handheld game here. Storm. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Here's the Halo section, and looks like they do have the new Fortnite Meowsles. <laughs> That's a goofy looking figure. 30 bucks. Definitely unique. <laughs> the brat. Oh, we got this new 17 inch chopper. May look all right with some three and three quarter gels. <laughs> it may need to repaint though. It kind of does got that cartoony look with a lot of vibrant colors. All right, all right. New Black Series. Just freaking Jar Jar. He's a called Jar Jar Binks. Quit taunting me. Uh, he's a great looking figure. I'm just sick of seeing him and not seeing any other Black Series. Uh, another Jar Jar. <coughs> of course. Alright, looks like they do have some archive figures. But unfortunately, they don't have General Thrawn and Commander Cody. I've seen these two like, I think like three times now, so. Uh, it's too late, too late for the other two figures. Alright, I think that's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Let's see. Man, they keep coming out with these new McFarlane three and three quarter figures. Hey, they don't have any Marvel Legends. This is down there, we shall see. A whole bunch of warthogs and a ghost. Zombie invasion. Oh, they got archive series. Oh, what? Where's Commander Cody? No, Commander Cody. But we got Thrawn. Okay, I didn't know these were showing up at Walmart yet. Nice! Ah, oh, it would have been beautiful if Commander Cody was here too. Okay, okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to stop by some Walmarts today. Oh, there's a bird up there. <laughs> Sorry, that was pretty random, huh? Man, heck yeah. <laughs> Gotta love unexpected finds. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so if they have two Thrawns, should they come, the Thrawn come two per case? I have no idea, but. Let's see what's down here. We have Commander Cody down here. Nope. Got Darth Maul three and three quarter. Face sculpt is definitely an improvement from the first release of Thrawn. I would oh there's Jar Jar for $24.86. Oh never mind, it's the wrong peg. Mando Darksaber. There's a lot of Jar Jars. 
Okay, so Jar Jar and this archive wave is showing up at Walmart. Very nice. Got some cobra hisses here. What's this? Looks like a mystery box. Oh, we've got a Marvel Legend up here. Let's see what it is of the Atmosphere Armored Iron Man. And that is the only. Oh, we've got some dominoes, of course. Some mystiques. Anything hiding back here? Anything hiding way underneath? Nope. Not see anything. All right, I think that does it. Let's go ahead and take Thrawn. Man, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. So we found some good stuff out there, and um, there's still a couple things that I am looking for, and it's going to be hard to find, especially the Vipers and Commander Cody. But uh, if we don't find it, oh well, it is what it is. You know, it happens. Um, but I'm glad we found some of the things that we were looking for. And I did get some stuff from Target. So I'll go ahead and show y'all that. So from Target, I got some Funko Pops. These were released like several months ago. And they were exclusives. And I wasn't able to get any. I, I could have got the I could have got one, but it was the box was damaged, so I passed on it. But it is the black light Marvel Funko Pops. There's Doctor Strange. We got Thor, we got Iron Man, and Captain America. And I gotta say, the packaging by the Target distributors—they did a fantastic job. Like I'll show you, I'll show y'all a picture here and how it came. It came in like these all came in separate boxes in one huge long box. So very impressive. They had bubble wrap. So yeah, Target is definitely making a change. They probably had so much returns because of damaged boxes. So they're stepping up their game and improving on things. So um, yeah, these are very attractive. As you can see, a lot of colors. So I had to get them, and I'm just I'm just really happy that they re-released these. I know a lot of people were wanting these, and I almost bought these from the secondary market. And they were going for pretty high, so I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, they look fantastic. All right, let's get to some other figures. Oh yeah, so before I forget, I want to mention that I did try to purchase the McFarlane Bat Cycle, but I got street dated. So that sucks, but it is what it is. I'm sure we'll find it again. I don't think it's going to be selling out very quickly or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, also, I'm still looking for the Vipers and Commander Cody. So hopefully we'll find those soon. I'm not really feeling optimistic about the Vipers, but we shall see. Uh, let me know in the comments how your luck been with uh, finding the Vipers and Firefly. You know, it seems like they're not really restocking a lot of Vipers around here. Um, they did at one point, like a week or two ago. Um, like six stores got only one Viper each. So I didn't even try, but I talked to an employee and he thinks that um, one case was basically splitted to the six different target locations, which is really strange, right? Like these should be a lot more abundant, but it is what it is. Anyways, so on clearance, we got Squirrel Girl. I finally got this set. I mean, this set's been around for like over nine months, so it's about time that got on clearance. Uh, but yeah, pay twenty bucks. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's way, I think it's worth twenty bucks at least. So, very, very pleased. Very awesome looking set. Can't wait to take her out of the package. All right, up next at Walmart, got some more NECA foot soldiers. Uh, so I think I got about 10 now Would like to have more um, Maybe I'll go back to that Walmart later on uh, Next month and get some more If it's still there I highly doubt it But I'm actually surprised it was, these were still there You know, so Very pleased Comes with a lot of accessories You guys are probably seen all of these before 
All right, up next. <laughs> One of the most popular figures right now that most collectors are seeing in the wild. <laughs> freaking Jar Jar. Oh, he's freaking everywhere. And he's $30. Should be $20, but... You know, that big shield, it makes it look like it's a deluxe figure. <laughs> and he's pretty tall, but other than that, yeah. Uh, but I'm still glad, you know, I'm glad that they came out with the Jar Jar Binks figure. He looks really good. I think they did a spectacular job. All right, up next we have, oh, probably my favorite pickup this past couple weeks, Optimus Primal. Oh, baby. Beast Wars is back. Look at that, man. Looks so freaking good. Love the art on these. Here's the back. Uh, you know what? So several collectors mentioned the uh, comment in the last video that the cards that come with this actually has a sticker on the outside and the inside is basically like a card. So I didn't mention that. I didn't know that. So I appreciate y'all telling me. And thanks for telling me in a very respectful manner. You know, some people sometimes will comment like, oh, like just in a very negative manner, like I should know all this stuff. But, you know, I'm just collected like everybody else. You know, I don't really watch much reviews, so I don't know what's inside these packages. So I, it's just, you know, I just go with the flow. But anyways, you know what? Let's open this and see which card that I get. All right. Here is Optimus Primal out of the package. He looks freaking marvelous. Absolutely love this line. So glad they came out with these. I know I probably said that more than several times. Oh, man. Nostalgia is real with this line of figures. It's just, man, it's just wonderful. Um, but yeah, there's the bot form and there is the beast form. Looks pretty good. And here is the card that it came with and the sticker. So on the outside, it's a sticker, a lenticular sticker. And we got Black Arachnia, so that's nice. Um, with the other Beast, um, these other Beast Wars figures, I got two Optimus Primes and one, I forget, it was like a ship or something. I forget what it was called. So definitely happy to get something else. And that is awesome. Black Arachnia. I, I really dig these cards. I mean, it feels good. And they look amazing. Love the shininess. You know, it would have been nice if each character came with a card with their picture on it instead of being randomized like this. Um, I'm happy to get something else, but, you know, I really want, you know, these different cards of these other characters that I don't have. So um, it is what it is. Um, looks like I have to go on eBay and look, search for those. But um, if any of y'all have a spare one and want to sell me one or hook a brother up, um, let me know in the comments or on Instagram. That would be awesome. Uh, but anyways, let's get to, um, you know what, let's do a comparison. I do have Optimus Primal here, the Masterpiece line. Let's put it next to this deluxe version. Of course, they're of different scales, so the Masterpiece is a bit bigger. But this is more um, accurate to like the animated version of Optimus Primal. As you can see, it doesn't really have any texture on the skin. Like an animated version. I mean, yeah, there's supposed to be like f gorilla fur on there. But um, just the way the animation was, it was very flat. And here you got the texture on there. And I mean, we don't know how the Netflix series is going to be like. The season 2 of War for Pi war for cybertron but um they're gonna have different variations um different looks on these beast wars characters so i guess this is a, a first glance at how it may be but very happy how it came out um a lot of just like the Mag megatron deluxe version the um masterpiece version they have different paint color schemes um but overall they look excellent. Really digging these.
All right, let's get to the last figure from the hall. All right, from Walmart, we finally found Thrawn. So happy to have found him, and especially you know in a very unexpected way because I didn't think he sh he was showing up at Walmart yet. But yeah, um, it's very likely Thrawn is going to show up on uh, the next season of The Mandalorian. So I know he's very a very hot figure right now. Um, I do want to mention though, you know they're going to come out with a different version of Thrawn. It's going to be the uh, live action version of Thrawn. So keep that in mind. If you know that you're going to only want one Thrawn on your display or you're just happy with one Thrawn, know that there is going to be the, the um, Disney series version of Thrawn that's going to come in figure form. It's inevitable. I mean, if he shows up in the next season, it's inevitable, just like how Moff Gideon came out and a lot of the other characters. Um, even Ahsoka, you know, there's going to be a, a Rosario Dawson version that's going to come out. So... Keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, uh, very thrilled that this character is going to come into the next season of The Mandalorian. It should be very interesting. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all are having some great hunts. Hope y'all are just taking care of yourselves and staying healthy and whatnot. Uh, of course, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out. Peace. Thank you.